Now we're going to take a look at that, the two procedures, the top down and the bottom up for revenue projection. Look at the top down first. Now the top down procedure focuses on the aggregate market and economic conditions. For economy, we focus on the GDP growth. For the market, we look at the market revenue or sales or industry sales growth. How does that relate to uh, the individual company's revenue projection? So the first part, both are very easy to understand, is more like a benchmark uh, approach. So first part, we use the GDP growth as benchmark. So we know that every firm are systematically correlated with the economy growth, especially for most uh, consumers oriented product. So for the uh, consumers oriented product like retailing product or food or other type of uh, anything related to uh, people's daily living need, they will have a strong correlation with GDP growth because the GDP are uh, all directly related to consumption uh, change. Okay, the GDP change related to the consumption change. Therefore, the key is that whether we are able to get a robust estimate for the next years or next couple of years, the growth rate of the gross domestic product, the GDP. Then the next part is that how does that the companies, the individual company, their sales growth or revenue growth as comparison to the industry growth, All right? So there is a sensitivity there. Now, usually uh, we use a percentage. For example, uh, we view that the firm had revenue growth faster than the overall industry or the market growth by 20%. Then the key is that let's estimate the GDP. If the GDP growth rate for the next year is 3%, then obviously, because we have 20% more uh, faster than that, therefore the growth rate is 3.6% of revenue change we forecast for the next year. All right, so that's the basic procedure. On the other hand, instead of looking at the GDP growth rate, Let's look at the industry sales. So what we do here is uh, using the historical industrial uh, sales information and doing some type of uh, analytical or quantitative uh, forecasting about the industry sales change. We call that market growth. All right. So then we use that uh, again, is using how does the company revenue as a percentage to uh, the industry sales, similar to the uh, the previous approach, is a benchmark approach, and then we look at the uh, in this case for the market sales itself, we look at that how does the company uh, their position in the market, in other words, their market shares. So we use the market shares estimation. So there's a two parameter. Where, parameters will change that uh, simultaneously. One is the industry sales change, the other is the, the market share of the firms change over time. When, when you're combining these two parameters into uh, the model, then you have one estimation or projection for the firm's revenue growth right, uh, in the future. So this, this, this is two uh, example for the top-down estimation for firm's revenue growth. On the other hand, uh, we look at the bottom up. Say we focus on individual firm revenue then itself. So three uh, normal approaches or methodology they're using for the bottom up revenue projection. The first one is the time series forecasting. So we're using the um, uh, historical data to estimate the historical growth rate and put into the time series model, right? It could be a, a time series dynamic model 
or a different tie up of the analytic regression model or sometimes you can use um, a simulation type approach but anyhow is looking the time series pattern or the historical pattern of growth rate for the uh, first revenue and then apply that one to the forecasting uh, or projection model to estimate the future uh, revenue. Another one uh, is relatively, I would say, simple. It just look at that. How does that the revenue change from the um, the return of the capital? Now re remember here the capital mean is investment. The first is investment mainly put into asset. Could be tangible asset, could be intangible asset. How is the how does the return that or the revenue can generate from their asset? We call the return on capital. That rate is able to use for revenue projection. So so the uh, the forecast here is based on asset, which is on the balance sheet account. For example, if this is a banking firm or a financial a financial company, um, in a bank, the most of the asset will be uh, loans, or mortgage loan, commercial loan. So if you want to project what's revenue growth for a bank, or any type of financial uh, institution. And mainly you're looking for the return from their uh, financial asset. Okay, say bank is a loan, so how much the interest they get able to generate from that mortgage loans is the uh, revenue projection. All right. So the so second part is that uh, look at that the return from capital investment. And these approach are very common for financial institution. Uh, a third is more related to um, fast expansion retail business and look at that the uh, capacity based measure. Okay, so uh, in retailing, for example, um, many uh, coffee shop I mentioned before or a grocery store or any type of the consumer orient um, business are related to this. In order for them to survive, one major part is expansion. All right, so the chain is important, the sales chain and the chain store expansion. So how, how do you project the revenue um, for say example like Walmart or Starbucks or Chick-fil-A? And you, don't, you, you need to look at that uh, based on the existing store sales and then also how does that expansion to the new store how does that the uh, the, the, the revenue projection there so they, they have a two thing is so you cannot just rely on the time series or the return on investment capital so here you have to steer look at that the capacity there's a there, there's a uh, supply and the demand especially the demand side on the market and your supply side from the uh, uh, supplier and your capacity and related to the revenue growth. So you, you, you have to use the existing store. Also, you have to use uh, a lot of analytical projection for the new store. All right. So, but for the existing store, make sure that you have to have sufficient time horizon to get a relatively robust measure. And in this reading suggests that uh, for the existing same store, you, uh, you have to use the uh, at least the 12 month projection. Use that one to uh, apply to the new store. All right, so if, uh, if a store less than uh, say 12 months, the, the data is insufficient. So you don't use that one and apply to the nearby new store. So these are uh, very common um, use for the bottom of revenue projection. Well, in practice, most of uh, firm is going to use both the top down and the bottom up simultaneously. 
this we call the hybrid approach.